Recently, a clip of Dean Takahashi, the lead writer of Venture Beat's Game Beats, has been making its rounds all over the internet. In this clip, if you haven't seen it, Dean is attempting to the best of his ability to complete the Cuphead tutorial. Dean goes for several minutes attempting to do what most people will consider a very simple task in the tutorial. From this incident though, the question has been floating around recently, that if game journalists really need to be good at games. While most of us are arguing that yes, they should, as usual, the gaming journalists of the internet and even some gaming personalities would argue otherwise. Several articles in the typical fashion have been floating around, stating that gamers are just too entitled and fetishizing skill. Even going as far as to, once again, blame those women-hating gamer gators for the issue that they just love bringing up so much. The argument ultimately at best boils down to what hit YouTuber Super Bunny Hop stated in his tweet about game journalists, that they don't need to be good at games, just reporting on them. But here's the thing and why this sentence is so idiotic. A journalist isn't going to be able to properly report on a game if they're not competent at it. I'm not saying that they need to be great at video games or even necessarily good, but competent. It's their job to relay information about the game, and if they can't even properly play or understand it, the review or critique is not fair to the game itself or to the players interested in the game. We should expect these people to be smarter than a pigeon. It would be like if someone with poor reading comprehension skills were to be reviewing books, or someone without integrity reviewing the new Death Note movie. Journalists seem to not understand the importance of giving a fair critique. They constantly get reviewers who don't even care for the genre that they're reviewing, and make no attempt to judge through the lens of anyone who actually is a part of the game's target demographic. Of course, a good review will always factor in how the game appeals to a variety of audiences, but someone unable to complete even basic challenges will end up having a very narrow view of it. So yeah, game journalists have to be somewhat good at games to do their jobs properly, which, to be fair, never seems like something they're that concerned with. So this is a new style of video I'm trying out, as a lot of the time I end up not being able to comment on recent events because I'm already working on a main video, or uh, the topic is just not long enough to stretch into a 10 minute period, unless I want to treat you guys like children and just repeat my points over and over like certain other YouTube channels I tend to mention on my streams a lot. So yeah, these will always be about 2-3 to three minute segments, and they won't include this end slate that this one does, because I just wanted to do this since this is the first one, and just kind of explain what these are to everyone. They're basically the same as my main videos, they just don't require as much research or editing. They just allow me to give my opinions without halting production of the current video that I'm working on, like the next main video I mean. As you can see I didn't even get on camera for this, which is what I would usually do in this kind of segment. So I just have some footage of me streaming in the background, so I guess I'm still kinda in this video. Well anyways, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe as I always appreciate your support, whether it's through supporting me on YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, whatever it is, it means the world to me. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy these as uh, this was kinda fun for me to do, so I hope you like it too. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling, and I'll see you in the next full video.